India's astronaut Rakesh Sharma and crew captain Subhash Shukla are spurring a younger generation to become astronauts. I have with me Inya Pragati, a teenager, just thirteen years of age, and the first Indian. Analog astronaut to go to the Arctic. Thanks a lot for speaking to me, India. She has dreams of becoming an astronaut for India, going to the moon, going to Mars, and all of them can be fulfilled. India, tell me, what did you do when you went as an analog astronaut to the Arctic? Okay, so my Arctic mission. Was um, High Arctic Martian Research Mission. Uh, it is on Devon Island. The place is called Mars on Earth because the most ge ge geographical places are real, realistic to Mars. So um, it's mostly like an expedition. I have collected too many samples of water and to search about microbes and I'm modeling into microplastics. Studying if our pollution is reached to the most remote areas, and yeah, I'm currently in my research. And and how old are you, and where are you studying right now? You are in school. Yes, so I'm 13 years old, and I'm from SRM Public School in Chennai. Yes. And how did you become interested in stuff which is related to space and uh, astronautics and becoming an astronaut? Okay, so my space interest was began when I was five years old uh, from the night sky watching. It inspired me a lot. I started learning about basic things about solar system, planets. Then I got, I don't know why, but I got so interested with Mars. And I decided I want to become an astronaut. Then I'm on my journey. So what excites you to become an astronaut? Mm, that's an interesting question. So for me, it's mainly like the teamwork, the, like for sending one astronauts to space, there are so many thousands of people working on ground. So it's about science, it's about the teamwork, the collaboration. I think for me, going to astronaut, it's not just about going to space, it's about the whole journey from now here. Now, to go to Arctic, did you train somewhere and who was supporting this mission? Um, it was like a training on online for the terrain, the physical stuff. Yeah. And who supported the mission? Uh, it was Mars Society. Mars Society supported it. And which crater did you go and what did you do there? So the crater is called Hofton Crater. It's the most high altitude crater and it's 40, 40 million years old. So um, we are the first team to go into the Sairov crater. And um, yeah, I'm mostly researching about the water samples of the crater which I collected there. So it's currently on progress. You met Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma. What message did he have for you? He was like, do hard work, be consistent, don't leave your dreams. And you also have met Group Captain Subhansh Shukla who went to the International Space Station. Did he have a message for you or did you get only a photo op with him? Uh, it was a photo opportunity, but I am yeah, I'm interacting with him. So, so do you want to join the Indian Astronaut Corps? Because Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said we need 40 to 50 Indian astronauts. And Bharat ki beti, meaning an Indian daughter, yes. likely to become the astronaut. So, aspiring to become an Indian astronaut? Of course, why not? I will be going to space in India. And, and, and hoping to join the Gaganyan program or going abroad and doing that? So, going, joining the Indian human space program or doing it through a foreign country? No, of course, India. Indian space program then. So, so what excites you about Mars? Mm, okay, so um, when I, was, I said I was searching about the solar system and Mars. So that time it was basically about going to Mars and Moon. So then I was searching about NASA's things. The like I used to spend more time on Israel and NASA websites each every day 
to get insights about every day. So I got into Mars. It was like, what is Mars? And was going to water on Mars. I have written my second book, Evidence of Water on Mars, related to that. So you're also an author who's done two books or three books? Three books, yeah. Three books? Yes. Wow, amazing. Yes. And all of 13 years of age. Yes. So does your school support you in this? Um, well, it is supporting me, but I'm doing it alone, yeah. You're doing it alone? Like, so does your family school. does your family support it? Yeah, of course, my dad and my mom. So they're supportive of you. Yes, they are my super supporters. Biggest supporters, yeah. obviously. Parents are the biggest supporters for any mission like this. So, do you have any? You're young. Yeah. India would be launching, hopefully, an Indian astronaut to the moon by 2040. I'll be on moon. You will be on the moon. Yeah. Sooner or later. Sooner. <laughs> Sooner. And but then on to Mars. Yes. So my final destination is Mars. But first I want to go to Neo, then move. Which is low Earth orbit. Yes. Low Earth orbit, bus, then moon, then to Mars. Yeah. I wish you luck in your dreams. Thank you. And you started off by being an analog astronaut. Analog astronauts are people who behave like astronauts, except for getting microgravity experience. Analog astronauts get all the experience of an astronaut by being on Earth. So in the Arctic, India was a Mars analog astronaut and amazing dreams. First to the low Earth orbit, hopefully on the Bharatiya Antrik station then to the moon, and then on to Mars. May your dreams get fulfilled, India. Thank you. Thanks a lot for Thank finding you, the time and speaking to me. Thank you, sir. So that is India, a teenager with big dreams. Unless you dream big, they will never be fulfilled. Even our former president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam used to say, when you dream, you can fulfill them. And hopefully, India will become the first Indian lady astronaut to go to the moon and then to Mars. At this very big space event in Bangalore, where India is participating in Bangalore, Pallava Bagla for NDTV.